Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. This is Atlanta and Company. I'm Christine Pallara. So happy to be with you. I know what you're thinking. Why is she so dressed up? Is she going to a garden party? Is she going to a wedding? The answer is no. I'm partying with you today. All right, the truth of the matter is my brother and his beautiful fiance, Tabitha, got me this dress for my birthday. And I saw it hanging in the closet. I think I haven't even taken the tag. Yep, there's a tag. And I thought, when in the world am I going to wear this this summer? I mean, you know, we got no plans this weekend. So I thought, I'm going to bust it out for you guys. It makes me feel happy and uh, bright and cheery. So there you go. And we will have a party for the next half an hour uh, talking about things that are all good going on right here in our community. And speaking of all good, we kick it off each and every day with stories to make you smile, brought to you by someone who always brings the sunshine in my life, the one and only Kara Kinnear. Hi, honey. Hello, good morning. I'm so excited to see your dress when I catch this episode. Okay, yeah, I can't wait. I'm sure you look lovely. It's like bright Thanks and yellow and happy. With all of us, and I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, great. I love it. It's a party <laughs> on your TV and on your dress. Okay, let's get into some good stories, shall we? And start this day off right like we try to do each and every day here. So the first story is I think there's been a lot of social media stars that have kind of come to fruition, if you will, because of quarantine, since we're all stuck inside and maybe we're on our devices a little bit more than usual. There's no exception for this young yeah. man. Carlos Elizondo has found his way to a little YouTube stardom, my friends. Um, this is a, a cool story. Ooh. So he was let go from his job at a grocery store. He's 78 years old and he oh. loves to cook. So he enlisted the help of his daughter and his granddaughters and he started his very own YouTube channel. Now, the YouTube channel is Tito Charlie. So Tito Charlie, if you want to go into YouTube and subscribe, he had 20,000 subscribers right away. I have to say, he makes some delicious dishes like shrimp and chorizo. He makes this <laughs> dried beef dish that's pretty cool. He actually has his own cheeses, dried beef and chorizo for sale at local grocery stores where he lives in his city. Um, and oh his daughter gosh. and granddaughter have also started helping him package to sell that. But 20,000 followers right off the bat. And I watched an episode last night. It's pretty good. He has lots of beer, which I enjoy. And he's just an all around treat. Now I will tell you that the episodes are in Spanish, but there are English subtitles. So you can learn some Spanish, learn some cooking and have a beer with Tito Charlie every day if you wish. Check it out. It's pretty good. Uh, Kara, you know this little Spaniard loves some chorizo. So I will definitely check that out. Same. Good for him. I love that. Yeah, chorizo. I see. I see, senorita. I know. It's fun. Trizo and cerveza. Por favor. All right. Um, let's get to this next one really quickly. I think um, there have been a lot of worries, you know, especially when summer comes around for children that are um, food insecure. And when quarantine started and distant learning started, there was not only the food insecurity that a lot of people worried about, but think about all the other resources that schools give to your children, like books. And Kelly, who is a librarian um, in Virginia, felt very strongly that her children, that she took care of every day, that she got to see every day and form that connection with, still at least be able to learn so by reading. So Kelly thought, how can I get my students the books that they probably really need and want and could really make a difference, honestly? Um, while we're distant learning and over the summer. So Kelly thought, hmm, we use a drone system sometimes within our family. Maybe I could get this drone. Now it's, this is, um, it's called what? the, uh, the wing and it's a Google parent company owns this drone service, but she's used it before her, for her family. So she thought maybe I could use wing to deliver the library books to the kids who need them. So that's what she has done. And it's the first public school system in America to employ a drone to deliver books. So cool, so innovative. What a great way to actually use the drone. And um, yeah, so now her students can choose from over 150,000 titles and have those books delivered right to the door. Thanks, Kelly. It's perfect. Thank you, Kelly is right. Yes, I mean, how dedicated and um, committed is she to making sure that her kids are getting exactly what they need? I love that. All right, Karen, we got time for one more. Yeah, I love that. We love to highlight teachers. Okay, 
highlighting teachers that go above and beyond. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, this last one really quickly. This is about Tom. Tom loves a dad joke. Tom started posting dad jokes in his yard with the help of his family when quarantine started. It became a buzz in the neighborhood. People started driving by, checking out the dad jokes each day. Um, and he has kept that up. And now he wants to do a contest that he's holding on Facebook. We'll post this article so you can be involved if you want. Um, he wants just a small donation. It's going to go to Martha's Table, a nonprofit in Washington, D.C. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, spread the love of dad jokes. He hasn't just used it for dad jokes since it started to get a little bit of popularity in his neighborhood. He said in light of the recent tragic events, he has also put wisdom on there, a little um, one-liners for people to kind of take with them throughout the day. And I want to leave you with this dad joke that got a lot of attention. It's a pretty good one. If two vegans get into a fight, Miss Christine, is it still a beef? I don't know. Take that dad joke with you for the day. Oh. <laughs> yes. She's here every day at 11, okay. guys. Kara. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Thank you, Kara, as always, for spreading the joy. And guys, remember, if you have a fun or interesting It's All Good story, please share it with us. It's facebook.com slash ATL Co. Or tweet us using that hashtag, It's All Good.